Well, hello, my name is Jenny and I will be attempting a through hike of the Appalachian Trail starting in about two weeks. And I had some interest in how I plan to vlog or share my journey with others. So I wanted to talk about my entire vlogging process in four steps, filming, editing, posting, and storage. For filming, I try to start out with a plan of what I'm going to talk about or what I'm gonna show. For informational videos like this one, I'll even start out with a script or an outline of what I want to talk about. For backpacking videos, there's no script, but I still try to follow a story outline, including an introduction, who I am, what I'm doing, any challenges I'm worried about, any sites that I expect to see, followed by the action phase of actually showing the things, and then finally a conclusion where there's some sort of resolution and then an outro. I use two cameras, a GoPro Hero 9 and my iPhone 12 mini. You don't really need a fancy camera to start out with, and when I started, I just used my phone as well, but I've been making backpacking videos for three and a half years now, and I decided I wanted to upgrade what I was using to film, and the GoPro is good for showing the trail because it smooths out the footage and it's also good to use for any time that I'm moving. But other than that, I've found that the phone is perfectly capable and even superior to the GoPro in a lot of ways. One being it's much better at getting close-up shots, photographs, or pretty much any time when I need to hold the phone. So if I'm showing a summit view or if I'm recording myself in my hammock, those are all times where I would prefer to use my phone. The GoPro is good to have, but if I were to start all over again, I'd probably get a different action camera because the GoPro isn't very reliable. I have had it die on me if it even gets remotely close to low battery. I also seem to lose at least one file per day due to corruption. I use a GoPro pole attachment on my trekking pole, which lets me use my trekking pole as a selfie stick as well as a monopod for getting those walking away from the camera, walking toward the camera shots. I thought about bringing a special tripod to use with my phone, but then I discovered you can use the trekking pole as a monopod for your phone as well, just by using a hair tie or a strong rubber band. If you do end up going the monopod route, just make sure that you stick it very firmly into the ground or snow because you don't want your equipment getting damaged if it were to fall. And that has happened to me actually, uh, embarrassingly recently. When recording, one piece of advice I could give is to not be afraid of taking multiple takes. Full disclosure, this is my third time recording this video and I will show my other attempts in the outtakes at the end of this video if you are interested. One thing I haven't decided yet if I'm bringing or not are my DJI wireless microphone set. With the GoPro, you need the media mod in order to use an external microphone, but the set would work with my phone if I just have this little lightning adapter piece. So I'm thinking about using that just to have the option of, let's say I wanted to film something from far away, then you could still hear me, or if I'm filming another person from far away, you could still hear them. I wouldn't step there. So they're really great for if you're hiking with another person, because otherwise you wouldn't really be able to hear them at all. But with the microphone set, you can hear both people, even if they're you know, several hundred feet away from each other, which is really cool. But I'm not sure yet if the added weight will be worth it. I'm still trying to figure that out. 
If I've taken any GoPro footage, I'll first need to turn on the camera and open the GoPro Quick app. I never signed up for this. I just usually hit continue as guest. And then I go down to the GoPro tab. And so you can see that my phone is connected to my GoPro at the top here. And one thing I learned, this app is not super intuitive. So where it says this GoPro has new footage with the download button there, you don't want to hit that because it's, it's going to download literally everything that's on your SD card. Instead, hit view media right in the middle there and then it is going to load all of the footage from your GoPro camera. It says Wi-Fi network but you don't have to be connected to Wi-Fi in order to do this. It's sort of its own kind of phone to camera network. So yes you want to hit join. So you can do this out in the wilderness. It'll work. So this is all of the footage that you have saved from your GoPro on your SD card. Now you want to hit the button on the upper right with the check marks and that will allow you to select whatever video files you want. Select them and then hit download. Once you have them downloaded, you want to go into media. So this is something that I had to figure out on my own when I first started that it doesn't automatically just go to your photos. It's downloaded, but it's in some, I don't know, unknown location. So you want to go into the media tab and then again, select this check mark button. And then you want to select all of the files again. And then you hit the share button at the upper right and hit save to photos. The files will now show up in your photos app. Once I have all of the video files on my phone, next I go into VN video editor. So there's a lot of different free video editors that you can use. I just happen to use this one, but there's so many options. Hit the plus to add a new project, and then I select new project. I can add whatever files that I want. So all of my GoPro videos will then show up in here as well as my phone videos. And then I edit it however I want. And then I will export that video. Once you have that exported, you can upload it to YouTube. I'll open my YouTube app. You can also do this from YouTube Studio. And I hit the plus at the bottom, select the video file that oh, I want. Oh, if you and then from here you can make your title description um, whether you want this to publish now or make it private or members only whatever you want um, i usually schedule mine ahead of time to post at certain times and then you just hit upload and while i do that i will make the thumbnail so i'll use canva for that once you have your thumbnail, you go in back into your file that's uploading and then you can change it to your new thumbnail. All these video files take up a lot of space on your phone, so it's important to clear up that space now and then. There are different ways that you can do this. One is by paying for a cloud service to upload your files onto when you get to a town with Wi-Fi. A second option that doesn't require Wi-Fi would be buying some sort of USB stick that you could then copy the files onto. The downside to that is that a lot of these USB sticks require you to download a third-party application and I was reading some of the reviews when I was doing my research and a lot of these apps had very poor reviews and you didn't really know what they were doing with your data. So instead, I opted to purchase a lightning to USB camera adapter along with a SD card reader. These two combined weigh 1.4 ounces, but it gives me the flexibility of being able to copy files onto an SD card without the use of Wi-Fi or a third-party app because it just uses the Files app on your 
iPhone. I'm not certain what the process would be if you have an Android phone, but I'm sure it's probably easier and you have more options. I wanted to share the process of how to copy files over onto the SD card because I had trouble finding this information myself. But first of all, you want to connect your iPhone to the USB camera adapter, and then you wanna connect that to your SD card reader. You also need to hook up an external power source. So there is an extra slot here that you can connect a lightning cable into and perhaps a power bank or whatever you're using to charge your phone. If you don't, your phone will claim that you don't have enough power to use that accessory. So for me, I'm finding that it's not a huge deal that I have to do this because I'm gonna need to charge my phone anyway. So I can just copy files over at the same time that I need to charge my phone. Once everything's connected and you've got your SD card inserted into the card reader, you want to go into your photos app and select all of the files you want to copy over and then hit the share button and then save to files. So then you'll wanna find whatever the name of your SD card is and select that and just let it do its thing and copy them over. And then once you've safely verified that they're copied over, you can delete them off of your phone. There are a lot of different ways that you can vlog. So this is just one way and this is the way that I do it. But if you have other ways that you like to do it, uh, please feel free to share in the comments. I wanted to thank everyone for their support and also mention that my channel now has the option to have channel memberships. So if you want to support my channel in an additional way, you can join the channel. That's different from subscribing because Hopefully you're already subscribed, but in addition to that, if you want extra content or extra fun things, you can also become a member of the channel. So those have a monthly fee attached to them and you can join and quit at any time. If you're interested in checking out the different options, you can visit my channel page from a web browser and look at the different levels. So hopefully this video is useful for anyone who's thinking of starting a vlog or if you already have one and are looking for more tips or things to try. And if you're just here because you're interested in the process, thank you very much for watching and happy trails. Well, hello. Last week I had some interest in how I plan to vlog my through hike. Well, hello. I watch a lot of YouTube videos where people are filming in wood paneled rooms that look very much like saunas. So I figured what better place to record this week's video than an actual sauna. It is getting really hot in here. So I'm going to have to wrap this up. Thank you for watching and happy trails.